Hi there, this is Rachel Smith doing Forest School at Home. Um, so today, what we're going to do this week is make an Easter garden. So the first thing we need to do is collect some things to make for our Easter garden. And we need to think about what we're going to put our Easter garden in. So, I've got some bits and pieces here. I've got a seed tray, which is a really good thing to use. It's just about the right size. Um, you can use some cardboard boxes because your, your Easter garden can be any size, okay? Or you could use a cereal packet. What we'd have to do is have it this way up and then cut the top off, okay? And that would make you a really good Easter garden. So for my Easter garden, for my Easter garden, I will need a box or a tray with a low side. So what do I need to make my Easter garden? Well. I can collect some bits together to start, so I have everything everything I need. So I need some kitchen foil, which I've got in my box here. There we go. So kitchen foil. I've got uh, some glue. Here's my glue. I've got a pencil, just in cases, and I've got some scissors. Um, cardboard, when I've got my bits of boxes and stuff so I can use that for my cardboard. String, here we go, string. And if you want, you can put some seeds in your Easter garden. Okay, so I thought I'd just go for some lettuce seeds. So it's mixed leaves for salad. Okay, I can put those in, they'll grow quite quickly. Or another thing you can do if you really, really want to is this one, which is cat grass okay grows really quickly and then i will need a watering can but that comes a bit later okay so those are all the things you need to get together to be able to make your um, easter garden so that's the first thing now the next thing i need to do is make a treasure hunt list for making an easter garden i thought it would be really nice if we did a treasure hunt to collect all the things because we've done treasure hunts before so we can do one that's got um something to do with our easter garden so let's see what could i have find five things one two three four five and something special i've got a list here so i've got some moss some stones some sticks some mud, maybe a flower or two, and my something special is going to be an egg. Okay, so I've got a pen, because what I'm going to do is when I find these things, I'm going to tick them off, and I might write how many things I find. So I brought my tray with me, because I'm going to put the things into my tray once I've collected them. I think I can probably find all those things just in this little spot here. So let's have a look. So first thing on my list is moss. Now, can we remember what moss looks like? I think we probably can. And you can see there's loads here. So I can tick off the moss on my list. So I'm gonna pull up some of the moss. Four clumps of moss. And I've got some little plants in there as well. And maybe five, I think. Five should do it. And that's kind of covering my tray, isn't it? But I'm gonna have some stones and things as well. So five clumps of moss. So there's my moss, and I put number five in there. So stones, let me see. Uh, looking around here, there's some lovely stones. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got seven at the moment. I might need a few more. So I'm gonna tick it off of my list, and I got seven in there, okay? Now, next thing on my list is sticks. So, what I want the sticks for is to make some crosses for my Easter garden. I've got one here, but I can't pick that one up because look, it's still got some roots on it. And so that would actually kill that, that stick off, okay? So it's still growing. If I look a bit closer, there are some other sticks here, okay? I wonder if you can guess which tree they've come from. Okay, there was a bit of a clue on the ground. Did you notice it? What's this? A pine cone, one of those big long ones. And behind it, there's some branches with pine needles on. So those are pine sticks. To make my cross, I need one like this. And then I'm going to put the other one across like this. 
two sticks. I can take that. I can put two in there. Mud. That's the next thing. I need quite a lot of mud, I think. Oh, what did we find? Wow, that's a millipede there. And it's in the soil. Uh, I've got to be very careful, so I need to put that one back. So I have got a handful of mud. So I could measure how much mud I need in handfuls. So mud I've got, and I've got eight handfuls. Next thing on the list I need to find is some flowers. If there's more than 20, and then we can pick the flowers. But as we're in my garden, don't have to worry too much about that. You need to ask your adults whether you can pick the flowers, just in cases. Lots of lovely primroses here, which will look very beautiful. So I'm going to see which ones I can pick up. So there we go, there's my three flowers. So I'm going to tick my box, and I'm going to write three. The last thing I've got to find is our very special thing, which is our egg. So hopefully we've either had the Easter bunny visit, okay, or there might be some chickens in the garden. I don't know. Let's have a look. So we have to look very carefully for an egg because um, it might kind of blend in with the plants and things. Let's have a little look around. Oh, well, I found a pine cone. But that's not an egg, is it? Mm. And some grass here growing. And some little forget-me-not plants. And some more primroses. And look, in amongst the leaves, there is an egg. Wow. So I'm going to pick it up really carefully. Put that in my tray. And those are all the things I need to make my Easter garden now.